Okay, this is a follow-up video to last night's video. Um, here we are in UDK. I used the same technique as the previous video, which I made the wall with, to make this floor. Um, I wanted to follow up because I felt like uh, last night it got a little sloppy. Uh, this one is being a second usage of the uh, previous tutorial. Um, here it is, just lighting only, so you can see the low-poly mesh. Here's the mesh in UDK. But yeah, the previous video I thought it was a little, a little sloppy, so here's a, a better result that uh, has been cleaned up quite a bit. This is no lighting here in UDK. And with lighting again. Alright. So yeah, let's talk about how this was made. Starting in Max, here's a cube. Nothing more. It's just, you know, got some uh, connects, it's got four edges, blah blah blah. So let's uh, add some stuff. I do the turbo smooth technique, the two turbo smooths where the um, the base level is uh, not affected by smoothing groups, so keeps a hard edge. Um, and a couple uh, displacement maps, or displacement modifiers on there. One's very cellular, the other is a bit more fractal. Again, this was covered in the previous video, so I'm just going to show you that each side, the, the, the value of this is I've got a box, each side's pretty much the same size, around the 64 range, and they're unique. So I'm going to lay those out here. Um, let me get this final texture off here just to show you the meshes themselves. By rotating the cubes around, you get six unique faces, but then you can rotate those and they become even more unique. Um, here's the grout, which is basically a plane with the same material applied to it. Again, all this is pretty much dynamic, just made by Max. Uh, I'm going to apply the textures again, the actual material. And this was the one that was hand painted in the previous videos. The two different stones. So yeah, I mean that's it in a max. Uh, I'm gonna bake this out. Uh, but first, let's make the low poly. The low poly. What I'm doing here basically is I'm gonna take these message, uh, these messages, these meshes, and disable the turbo smooth. So I'm still getting the displacement. So I'm getting all the effect that the meshes have, but uh, next I'm getting rid of the grout, I'm going to delete, the, the I'm going to collapse it all, delete all the base meshes, and uh, weld uh, the the first connected edge. So, uh, you know, the, the end result is pretty much like this, I smooth it out. It's pretty much the same as the high poly, but low poly. Uh, 1024 triangles, actually. So let's talk about it in Photoshop. I baked out the materials. Uh, this is the diffuse. It's got some errors, but I'll clean that up. No big deal. Uh, here I apply the shading layer. Uh, let me break that down really quick. That's the AO. Um, after I apply the AO, I put, um, let me break this down again. A little bit of shading there, the AO, um, some additional high painted highlights and edge highlights. Yeah, paint this in. Uh, going right into spec. Spec is uh, it's a bit intense. It's it's silly. It's actually this is more of a um a f just a a technique I use where I just apply a couple level adjustments and just make it intense. The same here with the normal. I just intensify the normal. Um. Yeah, it's, it's just a quick result. A lot of cleanup is needed. Not final art. But here it is in UDK again in the model viewer, just looking at the mesh. Um, here's the wireframe again in UDK. But let's look at it um, in real time, one last time. And yeah, that's the result. It's pretty good for a really quick technique. Obviously, it needs a lot of cleanup. But again, thanks for watching.